the city where Donald Trump built his empire, has charged the Trump Organization developer for his alleged role in a hush money payment to Stormy Daniels weeks before the 2016 presidential election. The Manhattan Grand Jury's indictment is the latest blow for the real estate titan, whose golden pompadour and once golden property portfolio have come under public scrutiny since taking political office seven years ago. Let's take a look back at the nation's first developer-in-chief and his Manhattan real estate history. As Trump told The Real Deal's editor-in-chief Stuart Elliott in a 2003 TRD cover story, I'm the biggest developer in New York. I've done that with positive thinking. Trump's trademark self-regard proved advantageous early on. After launching his real estate career with his father's company, Trump Management, in the late 1960s, he ventured out on his own in 1971 with the Trump Organization. In 1975, the Queens native, then 29 years old, struck his first big Manhattan deal to purchase the Commodore Hotel a once grand, but by then ramshackle, money-losing enterprise next to Grand Central Terminal. Trump's father, Fred, who made his fortune building meat and potatoes, middle-class housing in the boroughs, likened the effort to buy the hotel to fighting for a seat on the Titanic. But Trump's artful deal-making soon emerged. Prior to signing the contract, he talked local politicians into granting him an unheard of 40-year, $56 million tax abatement and near carte blanche to reimagine the site. Trump reopened the 1,400-key hotel in 1980 as the Grand Hyatt. The swashbuckling deal-making of the mid-1980s served as the backdrop for a Manhattan real estate spree by Trump, including Trump Tower in Midtown, which opened in 1983, and Trump Plaza on the Upper East Side, which opened in 1984, as well as a string of Atlantic City casino hotels. Trump also bought the West Side Rail Yards on the Upper West Side in 1984 to build what he envisioned as Television City. For a time, Trump's persona carried him to the heights of moguldom, until he overextended himself and came crashing back down to earth in the great real estate bust of the late 1980s. According to the reports of the time, Trump owed at $1.8.8 billion, $975 million of it personally guaranteed. But fortune soon favored Trump. In 1988, he acquired the iconic Plaza Hotel with $407 million borrowed from banks. He sold the landmark luxury property in 1995, but remains associated with the hotel to the present day. One of the developer's crowning Manhattan achievements came in 1994, when he unveiled the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Columbus Circle, a 52-story luxury hotel and apartment complex which Trump deemed the best project in New York by a factor of 10. Trump commanded an unprecedented $1,000 per square foot for the development, shaking up the city's upper-end condo market. Two years later, he bought 40 Wall Street, a 71-story skyscraper in the financial district, later rebranding it as the Trump Building. He rounded out the century with the development of Trump World Tower, a 376-unit condo in Midtown's Turtle Bay that was briefly the tallest residential tower in the world. The 21st century saw Trump take on everything from golf courses to reality television. Curious to hear more from the man himself? Visit The Real Deal for our 2003 cover story with Donald Trump.